the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest on a certain sum of money is 10% per annum. And the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest is rupees 500. So we can write it down like this. Let's call it CI. CI stands for compound interest and SI stands for simple interest. So the difference is rupees 500. So the question is, find the sum when the interest is compounded annually. So what are we asked? We have been asked the principal. Let's say P stands for principal. So let's find out. For simple interest, we know the formula. Principal into rate of interest into time. Here P stands for principal, R stands for rate of interest and T stands for time. P into R into T by 100. So here, what is the simple interest? We don't know the simple interest. So let it be SI. Principle is also unknown. Rate of interest is 10% per annum. And what is the time? It is 2 years. So, the simple interest is going to be principle by 5. So, let's save this equation for future reference. Let's call it equation 1. Now let's move on and let's find out the compound interest. We know the formula for calculating amount. Amount is equal to principal into 1 plus R by 100 raised to the power time. Now what exactly is amount? Amount is compound interest plus principal. We know that. And here we have P, 1 plus, what is the rate of interest? It is 10% per annum raised to the power time, which is 2. So let's calculate. Let's leave the left hand side as it is and let's work it out. Oh, if you observe closely, this is in the form of E plus B whole square. So let's wor work it out. We have P here. And square of 1 is 1, square of 1 by 10 is 1 by 100 plus 2ab. We know the formula for a plus b whole square. a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus b square plus 2ab. Let's apply the formula here. So we have a square this is a, we have a square equal to 1, square of 1 by 10 is 1 by 100 and twice into 1 into 1 by 10. One by 5, p 1 plus 1 by 100 plus 1 by 5 is equal to Now let's open this bracket. So we have compound interest plus principal is equal to P plus P by 100 plus P by 5. Now we have compound interest. Let's take this P to this side is equal to P plus P by 100 plus P by 5 minus P. So this P, this is plus P and this is minus P. So this will be gone. So right now we are left with compound interest is equal to P by 100 plus P by 5. But what is this P by 5? Remember, in equation 1 we got simple interest is equal to P by 5. From equation 1, so we can substitute simple interest instead of P by 5. So compound interest is equal to P by 100 plus simple interest. 
So let's bring the simple interest here. So we have compound interest minus simple interest is equal to P by 100. But we are already given the difference between compound interest and simple interest that is 500 is equal to P by 100. So let's take this to the other side. So we have P is equal to 50,000 50, rupees. So that was so simple and so easy.